Hi, it's Steph. Uh, this is another of my portrait videos, and it's another um, of the Sky Portrait Artist of the Week challenges. And I must say, I am. Um, this is a week four. I'm a bit gutted that I'm a bit late to the party with these because this is only the second time I've done it. I am. Um, if anybody hasn't doesn't know about it, I am. Um, do check out their Facebook page. Uh, just do Portrait Artist of the Year uh, on Facebook and every Sunday they have a sitter that sits for four hours. Um, you can join along or you can work from screenshot and uh, this is my attempt at this week's sitter which was the hugely entertaining Rob Rinder um, and I was in two minds whether to actually do this live uh, but actually when I sat and watched some of the live stream he was a great sitter I um, but I just loved listening to him talking and um, so I have worked from a few screenshots that I took um, and as I say, he was a great sitter, and I think because I did watch, like the one I did last week of ranking, I, um, I didn't watch any of the live stream, I just worked from a photograph, it was quite cold actually, just kind of working from a photograph of somebody that you don't really know, I, um, you know, I don't personally know Rob Rinder, but sat watching the bulk of that four hour live stream, it did feel as if I sort of got to know him a little bit. Um, which I know it sounds weird, but it, it makes it easier. Um, so, as before, I have filmed me doing this from start to finish. I am um, all speeded up into about kind of five minutes long. I am, um, and as with my uh, ranking portrait, it's all been drawn with a biro, um, a bit of white ink pen at the end, and um bit of acrylic just to put the highlights in and um, as before just because I do this a lot I've worked on a collage background as well and um, uh, before I kind of work on to the video bit um, a few people have asked me a few questions about this way of working um, so I just thought that I would um, explain a little bit about the collage. Um, for me, it's um, it breaks up that scary white piece of paper, and I think it adds something quite nice to a portrait. It doesn't work with everything, but I think it works quite well with portraits. Um, when I did my ranking uh, portrait, I grabbed a bit of collage material quite randomly. I am. Um, so I, I used sheet music. Um, I don't tend to throw images in. I do tend to use text-based things for my collage. With um, Rob Rinder, I just thought I might try and find something that actually related to him. Um, so, as I say, I, I sat and watched him for nearly four hours listening to him. I've been on the internet. I, um, I know he's a massive fan of classical music. Um, when he was sitting for this, not this portrait, but when he was sitting on the uh, Sky Artist of the Week program, he got his dog there as well. He's a big dog lover. Um, so I've raided my classical music stash um, and I've been quite corny um, and I've picked something by Bark because I thought it would go well with his dog. Um, and when I put the collage together, I did have in mind, in my head, that, that this image was going to go on there. So I'm a little bit conscious where things go. And um, I don't plan things too much because I like happy accidents. But I was a little bit worried about this because this is quite a powerful uh, piece of text. Um, and when I sort of hastily glued it on I was a little bit concerned that maybe that might creep into a bit of the portrait which I didn't want thankfully it didn't I am um, but generally I don't plan things too much I am um, 
And the other thing I'll mention, people ask me about drawing with pen. Uh, yes, it's quite scary, but that's what I that's what I like. Um, so I haven't sketched anything in pencil first. It is just all done with a pen, which does mean that every single mark I make stays there. Um, and I've said this before with some of my art classes. For me, drawing with an ink pen, boy, does that really concentrate my brain because I know that that all my mistakes are going to be there and and it was interesting going back to the sky um live stream of the artist who apologies can't remember his name um who who painted rob rinder he was saying um how you just so need to concentrate and you you know you need to switch off from what your brain's telling you um, he was flipping images upside down a lot of the things that i do which i found quite interesting and um, for me, drawing with an ink pen, that massively gets me to concentrate because, as I say, I, you know, I know that all my mistakes are going to be there. So, you know, yes, it's scary. There are a few little marks in here, some of them that I made right near the end that um, the pen kind of worked a little bit harder than I wanted it to, which annoys me a little bit. But hey ho, that's the nature of drawing with ink pens. Um, so there you go, that's me done. I shall now let you sit for five minutes and watch me do him from start to finish. Enjoy, and I hopefully I'll see you next week.